Having totally failed to skip across a lake like a well-pitched stone, Adam and Jamie have reverted to Plan B. On your marks. Get set. And Plan B is a beauty. Now, in successfully running on the waters, dependent on speed, we need someone really fast, and that's where Wallace Spearman behind me comes into the picture. He's six foot three, 170 pounds, and he's run the 200 meters in 19.65 seconds, making him the fifth fastest person in the world at that distance and the perfect test subject for us. How you doing? Pretty good. If speed's the missing ingredient, that's what Wallace has brought. They figure that lightning speed might well be the key to success. And this man also runs the 100 meters in under 10 seconds. So Wallace, how far do you think you're going to get? I'm hoping three steps. This three steps? I'm fast, but I don't know if I'm that fast. We'll see. Okay. This test is mostly about speed. And Wallace is pretty fast on land. However, when Wallace moves from the land and into the water, he's not going to have the same kind of traction, and that means he's going to slow down really quickly. I'm more nervous for this than I was at the Olympics. <laughs> and fair enough, even the Olympics can't compare to walking on water. So let's see if sheer speed is the answer. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> he didn't seem to do any better than any of our other tests. Now, his first step on the water actually was quite a bit further out, yep. but once it touched the water, it went down, same as the rest of us. But Spearman Jr. hasn't come all this way to pick up his towel and run home. Take off. In three, two, one, go! I don't think he's working, guys. Try harder. <laughs> I got you, coach. <laughs> Wallace has also seen the viral video. And just like Jamie and Adam, he's become obsessed with the thought that a minor miracle might be only a quick step away. He's not quitting. Nope. You know, one of the things that they talked about extensively in the video was how much you had to want it to run on the water. <laughs> and Wallace did a fantastic job of that. He talked to us about it. He really wanted to make this work. He thought about his stride. He thought about the way his feet were hitting the water. And he gave it every chance he could. And it was still a total bust. I want this. So it turns out, speed's not everything. Maybe if we got Wallace up to about 100 miles an hour, he'd <laughs> skip across the lake like a rock. But uh, given that humans can only run up to about 30 miles an hour, it's not happening.